Here's Chief Meteorologist Eric Snyder. Every year in the weeks leading up to Christmas, the question I get asked most often on social media is, Eric, are we going to have a white Christmas this year? And, well, this time around, it's a be careful what you wish for kind of affair. Look at Batavia right now along the thruway. Now, we're obviously not looking at anybody on the thruway, still shut down. But you see what I mean about the selective blizzard conditions are still a thing, and it's not just Buffalo contending with that. We cover parts of Orleans and Genesee County, and it is not fun out there tonight. Rochester is a vastly different story. It's cold. It's still breezy. We still have a wind sustained at 30 miles an hour, gusting north of 40. But look at the scene behind me. Crystal clear visibility here. Now, it's a little different on the west side of town right now, and we're going to show you where that band is moving to. So this is still an intense band of lake effect snow, very tight, mainly northern gradient on this. And this is what we see with these bands. The cutoff from all or nothing is very sharp on the north side of these bands that Lake Erie spits out. So that now goes right over the Buffalo metro area, farther off to the northeast. Very tight cutoff now crossing right over the thruway. Good idea that that thing is still closed. Impossible travel along this now through Pembroke, through Batavia. Uh, this has got to be at least two inch an hour snow rates with blizzard conditions in the Pembroke area, for example. Now, the west side of Rochester, this is where things are not blizzard conditions, but now getting increasingly not great, closer toward the county line especially. So we got some flakes in the air in Ogden toward Riga. There may be a few flurries that make it as far east as Rochester. Important point that we got to make on this, considering where we are here tonight with it being Christmas Eve. This is lake effect. These bands of snow are very shallow. That white line there is 10,000 feet. Now, you got a sleigh, for example, that is flying tonight north of 10,000 feet. You are fine. And NORAD is still following where Santa is at this hour. Quebec City right now moving. Always love this. Uh, about 5.5 million miles per hour. And the neat thing with this, Santa does this every year, looking at the jet stream. When that sleigh is up there, 10, 20,000 feet, what are the winds doing and what's the direction? So current location here, smart money, my bet would be is traveling west and then drop southward with that jet just to get that little bit of a pick-me-up. A lot of the planes do that, too. So you never know where it's going to go, but that's where I think the smart place would be. Band of snow here as we go into Christmas morning, and we're still going to have some active snow out there, but I think we now start pushing it more toward the Wyoming-Genesee County line, and then near the thruway, maybe toward Henrietta, there could be some active flakes there. But the, the gist out of this, the issues are now getting pushed progressively west of the region and becoming much more selective. Ongoing blizzard conditions might not improve until we start going into Monday in the Buffalo area, but by that point, we finally have some mild or air building in here, and that's going to be the name of the game in the next week. We're going to go out of the basement in a big way. We're 40 by Wednesday. That's a 50-degree temperature on Friday of next week, and I think there's going to be a lot of smiles by the time we get there. We'll be back coming up after the break.